my channel. Today we are working on programming challenge 9 in chapter 12 in the book starting out with Java. So today uh, the programming challenge is to uh, is called a dice a simulator. So we have to uh, roll a dice a two uh, a pair of uh, of dice dices uh, to roll them. And uh, I'm using I'm using these uh, pictures as the sides of the of the die. And I got uh, these uh, uh, pictures from this guy in GitHub. I think his name is Humber uh, Torowa or Humber Tor. Oa, and uh, I got uh, all the six sides from uh, from this uh, person. So, if you want to find it, uh, this this is his page. I really appreciate it because uh, in the book they say I have to go to a a website that I have to pay money in order to get the images and um, I'm not willing to do that. So this guy's images really helped me in this case. So uh, download all the six, the six sides of the, of the die. And um, then you have to store it uh, somewhere in your project. I call it uh, the folder asides. Then in the class, I created a class called a side uh, simulator. It would um, extend a J frame. It will have three panels here main panel, uh, label uh, panel, and button panel. And here are the here is a string array that would contain all the all the sides um, all the sides uh, file path. So, for example, the uh, one side is located in this uh, location. It would be inside here. It would be uh, here. So you have to create um, an array of file path and you have to store the all six sides then i create um, two buttons uh, exit button and uh, calculate button oh, I, I don't know why i call it calculate it's roll button because we are uh, rolling the die every time then i created uh, two uh, labels uh, j labels to store the, the images. And then I created two uh, number, uh, integer numbers, variables. Then here in the, um, inside the constructor, I created a title for the window and then I, I called the build panel method. Here I set the uh, background of the, of the window to red. Here we are setting the size of the of the window. Then we add main panel to the window and we set it to the north north side of the window. Here we call set default close operations and we call exit on close. And here we say set visible to true. In the build panel method, first we um, set the main panel uh, background to red then we set the layout of main panel to have border layout then we set the border of main panel to have spaces all, all around the, uh, the all the corners of the of the panel then we we, inst we instantiate the two labels and uh, we start with two images from the images array and we pass uh, the number the index this number would serve serve as the index of the 
of the uh, image array. So we set um, the two labels, uh, the two uh, J labels, and we set their starting image. Then here we uh, we create the layout of the of the label panel to have um, one row and two columns, and we set the border of label uh, panel. And um, then we set uh, the background to red for label panel. Then we say we add the two labels to the label panel. Here in the button panel, uh, we set the layout of the button panel to have one row and two columns. And we add um, the exit button and we add the row. Uh, button here. In the main panel, uh, then we add uh, the label panel to the main panel and we add button panel to the main panel and we set it to the center and the south side respectively. And here we add a border and a background uh, to the button panel. So we have to change to raw Roll button here, and we add action listener to the roll uh, the button or rolling button. And inside uh, the rolling button, we create a random uh, instance to generate a random number. And here, the first number would be a random number that is between one and six. So the way you can get uh, a, a random number between one and six inclusive, you have to write uh, six minus one plus one uh, for the first number. And we do the same thing for the second number because we are rolling not just one uh, die. We are uh, rolling two dies uh, simultaneously. And then you don't need this. And um, here we update uh, the label, the, the two labels, uh, set uh, icon, we call the method set icon. And we, we uh, put uh, the constructor of the label uh, new image icon. And we call uh, the image array and we give the newly created index which is a random random number here that is between one and six. And we do, we do uh, the same thing for uh, label two. And we uh, generate for a, another um, random number between one and six, and we set it to label two. And here, uh, exit uh, button, we add action listener. And whenever the person clicks uh, exit button, we just terminate the entire program. And lastly, here we create a, a, a main method to run the program. So let's let's run the entire program and see um, the die uh, in action. Here are the two dies. They start of a four and five. And the reason they start a four and five is because here in the two numbers, which would serve as the indexes of the, of the array, they start with, with three and they start with four, right? So, um, arrays start with zero, and um, three would be uh, zero, one, two, three. So three would be four, and four would be a uh, five. That's why they are showing four and five here. But now we gonna roll uh, the uh, the two dies simultaneously 
as you can see, they get three of them, uh, the, the number three. How about if we run it again? One, six, three, and six, one, and three, four, and two, four, and five, two, and six, four, and two, six, and six, three. So it, it goes on and on and on and on. So that is uh, what they want us to do. We have to generate a random number each time we click a uh, roll uh, button. And when we click exit, it will terminate the entire program. So I hope you guys uh, find uh, this uh, program useful. If you did, uh, please uh, give this video a like. And if you have any questions or commentary, please let me know. And if you want to see similar videos, please uh, subscribe to this channel because I post a, a new video every, every day, almost every day. And um, and that's, that's it for this program challenge. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you next time.